Good evening. <coughs> Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Hi. How are you? How is the day going? It's supposed, supposedly it's going to be raining in a few moments. So I don't know if, if it's raining already in your area. Yes, I go into my house right now and it's raining. All right, I know, right? Are you in San Salvador? Yes, in Africa City. Oh, uh, so yeah. You know, I was thinking today, just today, I was thinking we are already in August. Two more weeks and we are in September, all right? And the winter supposedly finishes in October, right? Winter is supposed to end in October. And I have not seen so many rain, so much rain. Have you seen a lot of rain? I feel like this year has been a low rain year. It hasn't rained like other years. Do you think the same? Or do you think it has been raining a lot? Are you guys there? Is anybody listening? <laughs> I feel like if you don't participate, well, also, I'm not giving grades to anyone who's not participating. So just for you to know. <laughs> hey, regarding the topic that you mentioned in the in the WhatsApp group, in the platform, right? Um, I'm going to show you guys. Because that, that would count as, the, as week one, if I'm not mistaken. So bear with me for a moment. I'm going to share the screen. And we're going to check this part. Okay. So I wanted to show you how you're doing with your scores. Okay. So at this, at this point, today is Thursday which is basically Monday. We're beginning the new unit, right? We're beginning the new week. Um, because we started on a Wednesday, remember? So week one, everyone, everyone should have already 100 here if you had completed your homeworks from the week one. But I'm seeing, and most of you have not completed the, week, the, the homeworks for the first week. So this is a reminder friendly reminder that you have to complete when do you haven't done anything you are have you have a zero there <laughs> okay and for everyone who has not started yet or who has not checked this yet remember you have to finish you have to complete the first week of homework to have the, the course for the week one okay now for example in this case uh in Jorge's case he has 96 because the exercise in 1.7 homework, you remember it's not accepting the correct answer. So in that case, it's gonna be a 96, but that's okay. That's a good score, okay? Don't worry about that one. You can still have 96 if you have all the other homeworks correct, even if it doesn't accept that one, right? Just for you to know, keep that in mind, okay? So if you have all the others correct, even if the platform doesn't take that one, you can still pass, <laughs> all right? So let me just check on here. We're gonna check one more time the homeworks that we had in that week. So for 1.7, that's the one we saw yesterday. And then the last one would be 1.9. That would be the one for yesterday. That's like for Friday from the first week, right? For the ones that have not completed it, you have the answers in here, okay? You're gonna show, I'm gonna show you the answers in here, okay?
I'm just gonna reload this just a minute. So you are going to have to read this, right? Why are scheduling time limits and deadlines important to a retailer? Okay. Well, you have the answer. Number one, they are important because they help retailers stay focused and on schedule. Okay. You select it. I'm giving you the chance to take a picture or take a screenshot so you can complete this week's homework. Okay, then you have number two. Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? Number two, you have the answer. Because employees become strong. So you select it. Okay, number three, you have the question. Here is the answer for you to take a picture or take a screen. And it says analyze the trends, missed opportunities, and new strategies. Okay. Select it, right? Make sure you're following along if you don't want to forget. Then you have number four. You have the answer here. Listen to customers, react to customer strengths, etc. Okay. You hit send and then you have completed that. Okay. So as I was telling you, most of you, most of you, the majority has not completed the first week of homeworks. So this is a reminder, please do it by tonight so we can upgrade your scores, right? We can upload your scores in the platform. Because right now, if you check it, and we're gonna check one by one so you can be aware, okay? Nobody can say, nobody told me, teacher, I didn't know. <laughs> so, Carlos Vladimir, you have 60, you have to retake it. You have to complete the question of the homeworks from the first week. Cesar Lemos, the same. Dido, you have to do all the homework from the first week. You you have a zero there. Eduardo Magaña, also. You have to repeat this, retake the homework from the first week. Emerson, you have an 80. Just try to retake it, and you can get to 96 at least, all right? Then we have Fatima. You need to start working on the platform, please. You have zero homework done. Jonathan, also zero homework done. Um, Jorge, good job. You have 96 in the first week. Jose Carlos, also uh, 96 in the first week. And then Jose Lopez, you need to start working on the platform, right? You have a zero there. Juan Carlos. Maybe we can retake or finish the homework from the first week to get to 96, okay? And then Juan, Juan Jose, you got a 96 already. Carla Sofia, we need to start working on the platform the first week. If you already did one of the homework and you didn't have good scores, take it again. You can do it again and it's going to update you, right? And I'm going to do a parenthesis here. Voy a hacer un paréntesis acá para decirlo en español, para que no haya ninguna duda y que nadie pueda decir, no, que no lo entendí, o muy rápido, o lo que sea, right? Voy a hacer el paréntesis. Ayer completamos la primera semana del módulo, así que ustedes ya tienen que tener completa la semana uno, la que dice tarea uno. Si se fijan, la mayoría está pending y algunos están muy baja, muy baja la nota, así que vuelvan a hacer las tareas de la semana uno Y podemos hacerlas ahorita juntos si quieren para que vayan viendo las respuestas. Um, como hay una, hay una pregunta en la tarea 1.7 que no se las toma correcta, aunque sí está correcta lo que ustedes le ponen, a todos les va a quedar 96 como máximo en vez de 100 la primera semana. Pero eso está perfecto. Igual con ese ya pasan súper bien. Así que no se preocupen, ¿ok? Pero si los demás que tenemos 0 o 20 o 60, tenemos que retomarlas y completar las tareas de la primera semana para que se pueda actualizar y ustedes lleguen a un cáncer, ¿ok? Esta parte es obligación, no es si quiero o si me queda tiempo, es obligación del, del alumno para que pueda continuar en las siguientes sesiones de los siguientes módulos, ¿right? Al final del módulo tiene que tener sus cuatro semanas completas de tarea y las cinco de clase, porque ya están en internet, ¿ok? Ok. So now going back to full English for you guys. Do you want to check the, the homeworks again from the first week? Do you want to do it right now here? 
or you're gonna do it alone in your house? I prefer it alone in my house. All right. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's the spirit. <laughs> Eduardo. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the student room. And yesterday we were we only answered one of the questions of the first activity, right? We were talking about what was the most important value a company should get. And you guys mentioned, right, different versions like the quality, the delivery, the delivery time, right? Things like those. So right now we have we have this activity here. Okay. Remember yesterday we were speaking about how to use a adjective as to express that some things or some people are equal, right? Or the negative version, not a adjective as to express that something or someone is not equal, right? For example, Samsung is not as good as iPhone, okay? Or Siman is not as good as Sia, or Sears is as good as Siman, all right? Very important, usually you will add a, an, either an adverb or you can add an adjective when you use that combination, right? To express equality or difference, okay? Now, what you are going to do in this moment is that you're going to go into the breakout rooms you're going to develop the exercise number six that we have there on the screen. On exercise number six, it says, in groups, you're going to discuss the distribution channels from the matrix using the previous lesson. Okay, we're not gonna do that. I will explain to you in a moment. What are the disadvantages and advantages that you can identify? Okay, here's the scenario, okay? In this scenario for the conversation that you have to create in this moment, you're going to go into the breakout rooms and your scenario is that you are presenting your boss. You're talking to your boss. You're doing a presentation for your boss. And you're going to explain to your boss the advantages and the disadvantages of changing the current process that they have, okay? Imagine that you work in an X company and currently you have um, direct distribution channel. Okay, your company right now has a direct distribution channel. And your boss, your boss wants to expand. Your boss is trying to expand. But your boss doesn't know too much. He just has the money for their company. <laughs> so what you're going to do with your classmates in the breakout rooms, you're going to prepare a presentation. It has to be a project, a presentation, like you are in a business meeting in a company, right? Okay, boss, we are going to explain to you what are your options to expand the business and what are the advantages and disadvantages for each option okay now the business can be anything that you want it can be technology it can be real estate it can be food anything that you want right the point is that you have to create a presentation like a real life presentation for your boss explaining okay if you want to expand the business these are your options, but we're going to tell you the advantages and the disadvantages of each option, right? And I'm going to be your book. I'm going to listen to your explanations, to your presentation, guys. Yes. All right? Now, because this is the first day of the second week, I'm going to be evaluating a few points. I'm going to evaluate pronunciation. I'm going to evaluate your grammar. Obviously, that you incorporate the expressions of certainty or of uncertainty and the ones that we saw yesterday, right? And all the ones, if you use other tenses, simple present, simple past, that's okay. But I will evaluate that you use the grammar correctly, okay? So I'm gonna give you 15 minutes to start creating your conversation. Remember, it's a presentation that you're going to do for me, your boss. I want to fund the business and you're going to tell me what options I have and what are the advantages and disadvantages for each option, okay? And I will decide at the end, okay? You can go into the room. You have 15 minutes to start in right now. Let's go into the room quick.
Okay, let's go into the rooms. Vamos ingresando a la sala, por favor. Ok, Vladimir no va a ingresar a la sala. Dairo me explicaba que no puede ingresar a la sala también. Son dos. Cuatro personas tienen que ver acá. Los demás, por favor, entremos a la sala para trabajar con nuestros compañeros. Miss, I'm sorry, I'm driving. Uh, ok. Let me know when you get home, Jonathan, please, because I remember yesterday we had the same issue. So when you get home, let me know so you can participate. Okay? Okay. Jorge, ¿qué le pasó? Fíjese que, no sé, teacher, quizás por con la, la conexión me empezó a cargar otra vez y me sacó. Ok, eh, lo voy a agregar ahorita porque ya se conectó Emerson a la sala. Gracias. Ahí. Lo voy a mover a la sala 2, pero no vaya a aceptar todavía. Ustedes en la sala 1. Ok, ok. Ahí. Hello. Hello, so, Miss. Uh, Hi. Mayra is only as a listener, so may I move to another team, to another room? Oh, okay. Give me one moment. Mayra, y usted informó a administración que iba a estar como oyente. Hola. Mayra, solo pregunta, usted le informó a los de administrativo que iba a estar como oyente. ¿Cómo, perdón? Si les informó a los de administrativo que iba a estar como oyente. No, eh, justo estaba así solo mientras llegaba a mi casa. Ahorita ah, estoy justo ya okay. conectándome. Ah, ok. Ah, no, no, no es toda la clase, entonces. Okay. Sí, eh. pero como oyente no, no puedo participar. Ahorita sí ya estoy conectándome. Ah, ok. Eh, pero, pero, ok, uh -huh. lo dejo aquí, José, mientras tanto, ¿ok? 
Okay. Okay. Si no, no, no. Si no, me vuelve a hablar. Ay, Carla, me avisa si va, poder, si, si va a poder entrar alguna de las salas para agregarla. Eh, ok. All right. <ríe> Give me just a moment. Que ahí están batallando, no todos se conectan. Give me just a moment, Carla, la voy a agregar a una sala. Ok. Kenia, ¿también me confirma si puede participar en alguna de las salas, por favor? Yes, teacher. Ok, just a moment. Ay, Mayra, la veo dos veces acá, una fuera de la sala y una en la sala. ¿Cuál es cuál, Mayra? Estoy en las dos, teacher, porque la verdad estoy en el, o no sé si me salgo del breakup y me une de este otro de la cámara. Eh, la voy a agregar ahorita, pero a ver, a la dos, ahí está. Gracias. A la orden.
<risa> eh, aquí la tenemos. <risa> No entiendo cómo esta sala pasó de dos personas a cuatro personas. We travel on the spaces. We, we travel through the matrix. Este, a cerrar la, de cerrar la sala igual, digamos. Ok, we want to share our screen. Oh, give me one moment. I don't know why it always gives problem with it. Just a minute. Just a moment. Okay. Um check right now, please. Okay. If it lets me. Wait. Hmm? wait, wait, wait. Some video. All right. Remember you have to present to your boss, which is me. <laughs> the yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Just a reminder. Let me know if you're going to need more time or if I can yeah. close the rooms right now. No, teacher, we need no more time. to learn more time. Vaya, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Voy a cerrar la sala ahorita y cuando regresemos les voy a preguntar a todos lo mismo y ustedes me dicen que si necesitan tiempo y entonces yo se los la regreso, ¿ok? Pero entren okay. tan pronto yo les abra las salas. We're only going to wait for 30 seconds for everyone to come back. Just a moment. Okay, so I was talking to some of the other rooms and they need more time to finish the presentation. So I am going to give you guys 10 more minutes to work on your presentation. I'm going to open the rooms and you're going to have 10 more minutes to finish you. on your presentation. Remember you, have, remember you have a presentation, right? Remember you're going to present to your boss in the office and you're going to explain what are the advantages and disadvantages, the different options that they have. And then I'm going to take the decision, all right? So you have 10 more minutes? Teacher. Yeah? Teacher, we don't have the option to share a screen in the room. Yes, you have it right now. I, okay. I Thank already, you. I already accepted it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If Thank you don't, you. If, if it doesn't let you, let me know. Me llaman. Me avisan. Okay. You have 10 more minutes to complete the task. You can go into the rooms right now.
Okay, now that we're all back, we're gonna listen to those presentations. Remember, you were going to talk about how to expand a business, all right? You're going to present options and the advantages and disadvantages of each option, all right? We're going to begin with the first room, which is room number one. And in here we have Kenny and Elizabeth and Jorge Antonio and Emerson Ulises. Go ahead, please. You can start sharing if you need. Okay. Kenny, can you share the presentation, please? Teacher, we are talking about with the different uh, distribution channel with the matrix and in the class uh, of yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. We we are talking about and try to explain for the different reason. And uh, uh, for example, I talk about uh, with Kenya about um, I have a little business and. Um, buy uh, or sellers or online in my case and i try to adapt that this matrix or this explication for uh, my experience in this business okay all right let's hear the presentation okay you can see the screen it's loading yeah. Uh, Jorge, are you going to explain? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I I I say uh, we are talking about for the the different. I I um we have talk uh, that only three distribution channels in first time and the online sales for this one uh, has the different advantage and disadvantage uh, for example uh, uh, the advantage um, is the time because you don't uh, you don't need to, to go to the store or the many places for you realize your your sellers or your buys only uh, you can uh, make for for your house or or any place when you you have a connection and the other is uh when you buy in the online stores uh, sometimes you have a different promotion and the price is very low sometimes and but uh, the different store has the different promotion only online. And disadvantage, uh, for example, when you buy online the different clothes, the quality sometimes is bad, or the materials, uh, or the sizes. For example, when you buy um, a t-shirt or pants, and when you receive this product, uh, the size is different when you buy it. And the other case, the uh, catalog and the direct mail, you have a advantage uh, when you see the different catalogs, uh, you can um, choose the different products. And also the time is a advantage because you can uh, make the boy in your house. But the uh, disadvantage uh, is uh, you have a limit. Uh, sometimes uh, you don't uh, have um, disponibility for the some products. Or uh, when you receive the product, uh, 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 a grip, for example, when you buy a fragrancy and if you see a picture uh, you buy in the for the catalog uh, but when you receive it uh, i don't like uh, this product and the last one we talk about the retail outlets 
and you have an advantage because you have a different products and many kind of, of product and you can choose, you can uh, touch, you can uh, put, uh, I don't know, uh, it depends for the product that you, that you buy. But um, there's some uh, disadvantage is uh, sometimes you in these uh, places or in this product uh, the quality is is uh, is bad. Uh, I talk about um, Kenya. Uh, I explain my experience because I have a, a a little business with my wife. I buy in the I use the first distribution channel uh, online sales because. We buy in our city, um, the uh, a brand. Uh, I I have a promotion. Uh, we buy a uh, Shane. No, I don't know if you know this brand. And very I, famous. <laughs> yeah, and I explained Kenya. Um, we have uh, some advantage because uh, we we make a. Uh, buy um at the different products accessories clothes shoes and the different products but uh, i have a little problem sometimes because uh, the product is bad for example in a few uh, months ago the a um, one t-shirt uh, has a hole in her um uh, i don't know is uh, in the fabric in the side seam, yeah, yeah, in the side seam, uh, has a hole, and it's very difficult when you receive this product because, uh, for the um, money, uh, if you, you pay for this product, and the money is is very difficult, but you receive, uh, again, but okay. I explained to Kenya. And um, this brand is very famous, and the uh, people and I don't I don't know, but people why, really but, buy from that brand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so okay. in your in your case, then you are acting like a retailer, right? A reseller and a retailer, right? You are yeah. buying from the big wholesaler. Chain is a wholesaler, so you are buying yeah. from the wholesaler. You are repricing, you are reselling it, and you're only selling a small quantities, right? Yes, yes, teacher, exactly. So basically, you are, act, you are acting as the retailer in this case. Very good. So you have a little bit of experience in the topic. Great okay. idea. <laughs> Thank you, Jorge, for sharing okay. and the presentation, guys. All right, room number one. Good job with the presentation. It was not directly how we looked for it, but it was really good also. Now we're going to listen to room number two. And in here we have, um, we have Abigail, Jose Romero, Carla Sofia and Mayra Cecilia. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Uh, we choose the product uh, water. Okay. <laughs> the name is Clear Water, and my partner explained the advantage is and disadvantage about the uh, the different channels. Okay. Uh, we choose. Okay, teacher. In our room, we were talking about the retailer channel in relation to our product. So we were talking about the advantage. So we we anal we were analyzing, and we came to the idea that we can sell the product at retail so that people can try it because. This is a new brand, so the people should have, or, or the people must, you know, the people can meal our product in in a by you need it, yeah. Okay. And the other one we saw the disadvantage is that we we have to share the profit, right? So it's less profit for you. <laughs> Yeah, and the other is my my partner going to sh to share with you the social media channel. Okay. Mayra. Okay. Okay. 
And the other channel we we use to to expand our our brand is a social media channel. So an advantage is um, we make a popular impact and more people know about the product in short time because this type of channel is uh, what is fashionable right now and because the model, uh, model brand use right now because um, all people stay in cell phone uh, look at the other times every day and is a is have a, a high impact and some disadvantage we talk is uh maybe we choose a a ground influencer because um then they he have a bad reputation maybe and affect our brand. Another disadvantage is the high cost of urban advertising guidelines. 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 Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Advertising guidelines can be very expensive if you yeah. don't have if you're starting, if you're beginning your business. Because they take I think the minimum is three dollars per day. So imagine in one week and you haven't made you haven't sold anything and you're paying for guys <laughs> for the <laughs> um social media it can be dangerous right okay yeah and um, that's it all <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so let's see in your opinion and your according to your group what would be the best option then each of them has advantages and disadvantages but which is the one you would select for your new product because you have to make a decision in the end right which would be the more appropriate for you mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. it, uh, the more appropriate is the station uh, because the product is necessary try <laughs> yeah and mm -hmm. see the the quality Maybe. Yeah, you know that's a better, that's a good, a good idea. Um, especially because the type of product that you selected, like for example, here in El Salvador, we have a monopoly, right? Crystal, Agua Cristal, and Alpina. I think it's the other, right? So those, those are the only two companies that sell water. I don't buy come, I don't buy water from any other company. <laughs> if, so imagine you come with a new company, a new product. It's the water maybe better, maybe more um maybe even cleaner than the other ones, right? Agua más limpia, even cleaner water. But the people don't know that. So if they see on social media, they could be attracted but not convinced. So they have to try the product as you mentioned, Carla. So that probably yes, retail would be the better option for you guys. Nice job, good analysis, guys. <laughs> good job with the presentation too. Thank you. All right, and now we're going to listen. We're going to check the presentation for room number three. And in here we have Eduardo Magaña and Juan Carlos Herrera. Go ahead, please. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, um... A good product is a, a bas basically a good product. Basic okay. Brains, basic brains and, and, and coffee. All right. Okay. Um, I uh, uh, speak about the uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, we distribution chairman uh, is a manufacturer uh, representative. Mm -hmm. And uh, some advantage. Uh, so the advantage are, for example, the uh, fast access to the market uh, because the, the representative uh, have a, a portfolio of customer 
and the and, uh, he he know about the markets international markets uh, because we the product uh, we we will we will export uh, the other countries. Uh, another advantage is the low cost uh, because we only um, export uh, only the 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 product that build we close. Okay. Okay. Uh, the another um, some advantage, for example, um, we have a a loss customer because uh, normally the customer uh, have a relationship with a person but no with a a, a business. Uh, mm -hmm. When the when the when the person uh, go out. <laughs> And normally he 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 take a, a this customer. Mm -hmm. and this is a, a disadvantage. And another disadvantage is um, we can have a control uh, at, the, at the representative manufacturer mm -hmm. because he is free to do. He is free to do. Whatever he wants with the product. Uh, it is correct. Mm -hmm. yes. It is okay. Only, yeah. okay. All right. And uh, what about Eduardo? Okay, I'm going to talk about basic grains mm -hmm. because Juan Carlos has said about the coffee. In this yeah. case, uh, we um we can we produce our own products. For this reason, I don't have a we don't have a specific store that we can sell the product. So for the reason we need to become a who sell represent who sell channel and find the, the right person that can offer the products in different with different resellers. The person uh, uh, need to have the some qualities such as um honest, reliable, confidence is really very really important. But I think the, the, the advantage of together wholesale channel is are ah, sorry. Um you can sell the product in big quantities and you can sell uh, the products in different stores or different resellers. So you can get your profit uh, ASAP than other places. And also you can sell the product um for your own because you don't need a, a to get a paid rent or something like that because you only sell the product and it doesn't matter that other people sell the product or not. And you can get your profit uh, in, in as, as I told you. And also the disadvantage is you you don't know about the the comments about the the product because you don't have you don't have a a face to face face to face with the customer. You, you, you don't receive have, feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you cannot receive a feedback about the product because you only have to to only worry to sell the product and uh, with the reseller. So maybe in the future you will you will get problems with that because uh, maybe you don't get you won't sell the product anymore and you don't you won't know about it. What is the the problem or what mm -hmm. is the so in this case you can extend the product uh, easy because you can offer your products in different ways. But the best way to for Juan Carlos and me is just to sell the product in a big quantities and find a, the right person to represent the, the company. Okay. Probably in that case, you would have to do like a research, right? Like an investigation of who you're selling to to see if they have good reputation, if they have good prices for the uh for the public, right? Because in the end, yes, you're going to be like the wholesale distributor, but still you need to make sure that the product is being sold at the right price, right? You have to have some type of control. You don't have all the control in that in that option, but you have you have to have some of it, right? Doing your research, making sure your your product is being sold appropriately, right? So very good job, guys. Thank you. Nice, nice research also. Very good job with the presentation. Okay, so this is similar, you know, this reminds me, I don't know if you guys watch The Founder. Have you ever watched that movie, The Founder? 
it's about how McDonald's started, <laughs> right? So it's about how McDonald's started, and it's similar the idea, right? Like he was, he had some ideas how to make the business grow, but every time he tried one idea, he discovered that it had advantages and disadvantages, right? For example, when he started franchising uh, franchises, right? When he started to franchise McDonald's, he discovered that not all the locations were following his guidelines, right? Some locations were doing, they were selling sandwiches, they were selling soup, they were selling Mexican food, at the same time selling McDonald's, right? So he had to establish he said, okay, I'm going to franchise, but I have to have some of the control, right? So it kind of gives you like the scenarios that you guys have been discussing. So very good. Okay, before we continue, we I'm going to take attendance. So please make sure to say here or present, okay? Um, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jose Bernardo López. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Cesar Lemu. Juan Carlos Herrera. Teacher. Thank you, yes. Vladimir Rodriguez. Okay, Vladimir, thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Um, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you, Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Mauricio Present, Antonio. Teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Um, present Thank Nelly. You. Thank you. Thank you, Nelly. And Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. All right. Nelly, I haven't seen you yesterday. I didn't see you yesterday and I didn't see you the day before. What happened? Are you okay? Yes, um, a little sick. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I hope you get better, Nelly. Thank Just you. make sure to rest and take your medicine. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, guys, we are going to be discussing one point in here. I'm going to share the screen with you. And this is a very controversial topic. <laughs> no, I'm just it's not so controversial, right? So we have these questions in here. First, is it important for retailer stores to know the strengths and weaknesses of the competition? Okay, this is not a yes or no question only. You have to explain why you think it is important, right? And then what is your opinion about this expression? The customer is always right. Do you think it's true the customer is always right? In what scenarios it could be, in what scenarios it could not, or what are the what are your thoughts? Okay. And then again, the first one. Is it important for a stores to know the strengths of uh, weaknesses of the competition? Right? Why? Why is it important or why is it not important? Okay. You know one time back many years ago, <laughs> back in the day. Um, I used to work in a private academy and I remember that the owner of the academy told me one day, you know what? I don't I don't watch my competition. I don't pay attention to the competition. I don't care about what the competition is doing. But at the same time, I thought, but if you don't know how they, what they are doing, how can you compete, right? So it brings you a question, should you, Take your competition to strengths and weaknesses or not, and why. Okay, so we're gonna be discussing that later. So just for you to have it in stuff. We have this paragraph in here. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five volunteers to read. Okay, I'm gonna need five volunteers to read. Raise your hand if you're gonna participate, and each of you is going to read one of the points that we have here. Okay, 
So for example, Emerson, you will read prioritizing is key. Um, Mayra, letting go is a must. Abigail, training staff is vital. And we need two more people. We need two more volunteers. Jonathan, help us with number four. Knowing the competition is a priority. And one more person for the last part. Shifting store inventory. Carla, please help us with the last one. Okay. So what we are going to read right now, it's about tips that successful retailers implement. Okay. So that's what we're going to be checking. What tips do they have? Let's begin, please. Very decent is a case. Scheduling the time limit and deadlines, even as your own boss, can help to make the retailer to stay focused and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Thank you. Next. Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze the situation as opportunity to learn from versus from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of strong associates and as a resort, a strong sales. Knowing the competition is priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, new opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. In store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to uh, accommodate their customer versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to consumer trends, uh, work with work with vendors and respond to what customers want. Uh, that is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very okay, good. Okay. So this expression are willing to. So it's a combination of the verb to be. It can, depending on the subject, I am willing to, she is willing to. It means to be in the disposition. Estar dispuesto a. To be willing to means estar dispuesto a. And of course, the verb to be will de change depending on the subject. But the meaning of, the, of that means to be in the disposition, right? I am willing to work on Sunday if they pay me double, right? <laughs> like that, etc. And next, um, deadline. The deadlines especially limited, but a deadline is like the last time, the last moment you have to do something, okay? Okay, let me see. Do you see any other uh, word that maybe you're not familiar with? Do you see any other word that you don't know there? Bidding, betting. Bidding, okay. Bidding. Mm -hmm. This is in the context, for example. Successful retailers analyze the situations as opportunities to learn from, to learn from versus beating themselves up over. This is an expression. It's to beat yourself up over. Beat yourself up over. It's an expression. Oh, I'm sorry. I sent it only to one person. <laughs> I'm going to send it here. Okay. To beat yourself up over, it's a general expression. It It is when you want to say, instead of being thinking too much about something, right? 
beat yourself up over is cuando te estás dando vuelta a algo, cuando estás sobrepensando algo, you're beating yourself up over something, okay? So it says some retailers, when they have uh, new situations, right? When they have problems or something, they take the opportunity to learn and they don't complicate. They don't beat themselves up over the situation, right? They learn from it, okay? And then I have this verb here, to reap. To reap means to pick up, recoger. Como recoger los premios, recoger los um, frutos de, right? Reap the rewards. To reap means to pick something up. Okay. All right. So we have some converse, converse, some questions in here. Number one. Of course, they are based on the reading. So number one. Why are scheduling time limits and deadlines important for a retailer? Why is important for the retailers to schedule time limits and deadlines? We have that in here in the first part. I think it's the eliminate the extra time spent. Exactly, right? If you have deadlines and limits, you can work on a schedule, right? The number one problem when you are an entrepreneur is that sometimes you don't have an order to follow, right? In an office, you know what you do. But in retail, in entrepreneurial, you have to find, establish an order, right? Good. Number two, why do fail become strong when retailers invest in training employees? And that one will be here, okay? Why do the sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? They read the rewards. <laughs> yeah, of training people. Imagine I am not a seller. I'm not a seller. I'm not a salesman. I'm not good at selling. Imagine that. I am a teacher. I am a logistics employee, but I'm not a seller, right? And one day, somebody hires me for you. Hire me for your store. Okay, Miss, you're going to be selling this product. And you don't give me training. How am I supposed to make a sale, right? <laughs> You have to invest in training your employees. A strong employees, a strong sales, right? Number three, what is a good way to get to know the competition? What is a good way to get to know the competition? And that one is not in the reading. This is like your idea, your opinion. If you wanted to spy on your competition, what would you do? What is a good way to spy on your competition? I think, I think you can check your competition, uh, maybe in social media, exactly. because every yeah. everyone has a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and it's depending on the follow, followers, I think that's, that's why you can check about about it exactly that's one form that you have you can check on them on social media i think another option is that you buy from their products right like you can buy their products not directly you but you can have someone a friend or a relative <laughs> and then you can explore and see what they their service their product etc right so those are some ideas how you can check on your competition and then we have number four how do retailers become able to effectively buy inventory for their stores? This part, you can find it here. How do, how do the retailers become effectively able to buy inventory for their stores? What do they do? Analyze the market and react to the customer trend. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Those are one of the things they do, right? They listen to the customers. They react to the trend, right? That way they know, okay, probably this is the next product that is going to sell in the next month. So I'm going to buy thousands of those. 
or probably not that product is not going to sell the next month. I'm not going to buy it, right? So that's how they do it. Okay. So now we have a um, group exercise in the breakout rooms and it says, I want you to pay attention to these points, right? The keys, the, the tips from the successful retailers. They prioritize the time. They let go when there are mistakes or errors. They don't focus. They don't beat themselves up. They move on. They learn from that. They train their staff. They support their staff. Of course, they know the competition. They study the competition. And they shift the store inventory, right? They don't have always the same product. So what you are going to do is that you're going to go into the breakout rooms. You are going to talk. It can be any store from El Salvador, any store that you know, right? Um, it Literally, it can be a store from your near your house or anything like that, right? So what you're going to do is that you're going to analyze this. Choose one store. It can be anything, right? Choose one store, and you're going to analyze if that store, if that retailer store complies with these five tips. Okay, analyze if the five tips presented in the article are practiced by the store that you choose. Okay, for example, I'm going to choose Super Selectos or La Despensa de Juan or Walmart or Price Mart, anything like that, right? You're going to analyze if they do all these things. How do they do it? Or how do you know if they do it? Have you had any experience or do you have any experience that you want to share to show that they do it or that they don't do it? The five steps, right? So I'm going to give you guys 15 minutes for this to discuss. Again, choose one store, analyze it, and see if they comply with all these points that are mentioned. How do they comply or how do they not comply, right? The rooms are open. You will have 15 minutes. You can go in right now. You can go into the breakout rooms. Los que no han entrado a la sala, vamos ingresando, por favor. Sus compañeros los están esperando. Abigail, Fátima, las están esperando en la sala 1. Ahí está buen día. Esperándolas para trabajar.
Okay, now that we're back, we're going to listen to the research that you did on the companies from here in El Salvador, okay, from the retail stores, all right? So in the first room, we're going to listen to room number two, okay? Here we have Emerson, Carla Sofia, and Mayra Cecilia. Which company did you research? Uh, we research Bonanza, Pollo Bonanza. All right, they are a good example of retail selling, okay? Uh, the first priority is in this case. Uh, they focus one a branch in order to maintain quality because uh, yes, if they are interested in the quality and not the quantity maybe okay so they prioritize in this case they don't prioritize time but they prioritize quality over quantity right okay Mayra, would you? Okay. Um, in the second part, uh, letting go is a must. We think this brand or this company, they focus on giving attention in the store uh, because maybe <laughs> Within the A1 to keep the tra the tradition the tradition. Actually, they have a, a only a store in the country. They don't need expand. Mm -hmm. Okay, they actually. Mm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so much in that. They did try back back in the day they did try uh delivery service but they failed their delivery service was really bad so it failed so in this case they can apply that letting go is a must and they did they didn't they didn't linger right no they didn't linger with the uh delivery failed they're like okay if you want the best chicken you come and you wait for it <laughs> right mm -hmm. so yeah okay continue please Emerson, can you continue? Okay. Um, training the staff is vital. And uh, when I talk, vital. Mm -hmm. And in Bonanza Chickens, they have a fast service and have a durable employees and do not need it uh, to train it, uh, the staff for a long time because they they consider the person traditionally uh, working in this place represented the the values of the of the brand. Okay. And the the last key we can do is know knowing the competition is a priority. Uh, maybe they don't care to know the competition because okay. maybe you know the competition is big, bigger mm -hmm. and, and they maybe prioritize their customers prioritize uh -huh. uh, Customers. Okay, uh, so out of the have. six, uh -huh. uh, they have maybe in okay. the six, I don't know. <laughs> <It's just laughs> no, that's what I was going to mention. Out of the six, they only comply with four, right? They are a retail store, literally a retail restaurant. They they are not using, they are not complying with the six tips, they are only complying with four. 
but that's because the other two basically they are not applicable to them right so they don't worry about those okay very good research rule number two excellent job Mayra's Carla and also and good job with the presentation also okay so now we are gonna listen to the presentation of room number five and here we have um Jorge Antonio Jose Romero and Juan Carlos Herrera please Guys, we're waiting for you. Well, teacher, we are uh, talking about uh, uh, a store or brand in the server. We focus in Simon because um, we think uh, this uh, store in the server has a different. Uh, Tip, tips, strategy, or, or examples for the distribution channel. And the first one we talk about with, the, for example, the the first key, key it is the pro, prioritizing is key and talk about the year um, has a, a different scheduling or, or deadline for them and for their employees because focus uh, their employees in achieve the different goals in the different department for sellers. And uh, then also for achieve this uh, projection or achieve the goals, it has a different training for the, for their employees. Um, for example, uh, right now, uh, he has contract the different people for the new seasons on Christmas and uh, they uh, take a time for the training for these employees and he has a very success in your sellers in the achieve the goals uh, for the season. Do you know what is the dimension for the Simon in El Salvador? Yeah, definitely. They're one of the biggest stores. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, uh, Juan Carlos helped me with the other tips because they mentioned the many tips that are different. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, the Simon, the uh, 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 knowledge of the, the competition is priority uh, because they use a different uh, channel to buy the, 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 the items. For example, they have a website, for example, and they buy online. Uh, they have a, a apps, for example. Uh, uh, they do uh, marketing through uh, social media, for example, Facebook, etc. And the other tips they, they have is, like a, is uh, they have a, a distrib uh, distribute distribution the the different brands quality brands and different brands and they um, it have a, a good program for training uh, their employees uh, specialists in in some brands for example and the other thing that they have is a uh, uh, they have a, a, a different uh, Financial line. Financial. Example. Financial mm -hmm. lines. Uh, they have a car, for example, and they have a web uh, program, uh, for example. Uh, uh, we, we, we talk about uh, also the, for example, uh, Juan Carlos says the loyalty program because and this uh, store, when you buy, uh, bring the different points. And then when you uh, have the many uh, points or dollars, you can change the different products. Uh, they use the different strategy 
uh, for example, talk about um, the yellow tag in the different season. Uh, they manage the different um, a product of in your inventory on, on the warehouse when they have a uh, uh, different pro uh, the different old products for for example in the any products has a new season they uh, buy for a promotion uh, 15 uh, percentage the the low prices in uh, any products and then this strategy uh, they have success because the clients uh, buy, 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 and buy with the line credits, the credit card, the different credit mm -hmm. cards. Uh, talk about, uh, for example, right now, I don't know, is the new bot, they, they have a new card, the uh, Visa Simon, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's a benefit for their because the client uh, attract the clients and the clients uh, buy the different product not only in these places see, with with this car uh, can buy in the different other places the supermarket or the other stores and and, and, and That's this right. strategy is very very good for them so obviously they are getting more customers right so they yeah. are one example and they are retail, definitely retail, right? They also yeah. wholesale or big amounts. They are retail store. Um, they are retail and they do all the tips. They follow all of the tips, right? The six, they do the research, they tank the stock, the inventory, they train their personnel, as Juan Carlos was mentioning, right? They have studied the competition. That's why they have so many buying and selling options and then credit options, right? Financial options for the customers and so on. And then they motivate, right? So yeah, they are one example that follows all the all the tips because they actually they actually work, right? Otherwise they wouldn't be so big. <laughs> okay. Very good analysis. Room number five. Thank you. Okay. So because of the time, we are gonna stop here. I'm gonna take attendance. So please be ready to say present over here. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio. Thank you. I am here. I am here. Eduardo. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Fatima. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Present, Jose. Sir. Thank you, Fatima. Jonathan Jose. Present, Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present. Thank you, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present chat. Thank you, Jose Cesar Lemos. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Thank you, Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present chat. Thank you, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you, Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present chat. Thank you, Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you, Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you, Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. All right, that's going to be it for tonight. Um, Jorge Antonio, si se puede quedar para asesoría, all others. You can disconnect. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Recharge your batteries. And I will see you Friday tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Hi. How are you, Jorge? Hello, teacher. Fine. Thanks. And you? Nice. Okay. Just letting you know, these 10 minutes are just solo son en caso que el alumno necesite hacer algún comentario, si necesita reforzar algún tema, si hay algo que no se explico bien, pues aquí se aprovecha. Usted me dice. No, teacher. Right now, everything is okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, 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 I only uh, have a little problem with the exercise I, I, I uh, said yesterday. Mm -hmm. But um, for all is for me it's okay. That okay. only said um, 
I don't know. For me, it's uh, a little difficult. Um, in an English, uh, the order words, the exercise for the order words. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I know that I only have a, uh, um, tried and and learn and invert invest the more time for the, uh, have success in this part. But yeah. right now the different topics are, 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 are very good. I like I like the class. Nice. I wanna first of all I wanna congratulate you because you participate whenever you are whenever you get to your home, you start participating and it, it you can feel the difference in the class, right? When the students are participating. And this part is really important because at the end of the day, I don't wanna sound mean, but at the end of the day, I already speak English. I have been speaking English since I was like five years old so I already speak it but it's for me for me it's more important that you my students speak it right yes. exactly as exactly the way you are doing you practice you participate you practice you make sure that you understand and you do your exam your examples your exercises so I wanted to congratulate you because you're doing really good on that and yes pronunciation fluency the correct order of things it comes with practice right the more I speak the easier it gets, right? But if I don't participate for two hours and only listener, only listener, um, it's gonna be difficult for the, for these people to speak, right? And at the end of the day, you know, English is like Spanish. I if they teach me the grammar and I understand that's one thing, but it doesn't mean that I can speak it, right? Yes. So for for that part, the only option is to actually practice, participate, yeah. right? So I wanted to congratulate you because you're doing really well in that area, Jorge. And also I noticed that if I tell you to correct one word, you correct it in the moment. So that's really yes. good. Okay. I uh, right now, um for example, I try to uh, well learn the different ways, be but mm -hmm. uh include in my work um if I uh, see uh, the different word, uh, but I don't know what is the significant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what what does it mean? And I found, I found in the translate. I found in my in my cell phone. In you the look computer. for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. I liked, for example, when you in the uh, a few class, uh, two or three days ago, if you show the. The conversational presentation, the video, yes, mm -hmm. is uh, for me is very good because, um, when you, uh, can understand the mm -hmm. other other person talk and you can understand what they what did he say, uh, uh you have a, a a a success and you you can learn anymore when you. And you realize that you're yeah. advancing. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because you remember back, like, maybe months or years ago, maybe you didn't understand, and now you are understanding. Yeah. So it tells you, yes, I am advancing, right? So the same, and that it comes the same. Usually when I play a video, I always do it twice. The first time, just to look for vocabulary, right? And then the yeah, second yeah. time, the purpose is for the students to participate, to do comments about it, to talk about it, what they saw in that. And some I I always notice that you comment happy, so that's really nice. But then when the rest of the class doesn't make any comments, in my mind is like probably these people are not participating because they don't understand. So how are they in this level if they don't understand, right? So it gets it, me worried. So it, I sometimes I I don't know because um I I feel sometimes I feel nervous or I can. A uh, fear that for the wrong, make a uh, mistake. Or, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. But um, I understand if you practice and you practice, practice, you can uh, yeah. be advanced for. Uh -huh. You're advancing, right? Yeah. The, at the end of the day, the companies, are, people have different goals. Why they learn English, right? To get a better job, to get a different job, to get out of the country or to get a scholarship for studies. But at the end of the day, you will need to speak and you will yes. need to speak it properly, right? It doesn't matter, oh, I only understand. Oh yes, I understand the grammar. It's not gonna count, right? The only thing that counts 
it's that you speak it and that you speak it properly, right? So okay. it's it's really nice that you, even if you're afraid or you're scared or nervous, you still participate. So you don't let that win, right? You take the ownership. So very good with that. Okay. okay. So that's going to be it for tonight. Um, If you need help or anything, you can always text me on, on WhatsApp with the chat. So where they are, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Take Thank care. You I'll see too. you tomorrow, Jorge. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye.